Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. This is Andrew, your mechanic. And as we, as you saw at the end of the last video there, um, this is what the customer has brought in. It is a Volson Volson 2040, 1993. And it almost looks like a Volvo now, doesn't it? Now, as I was looking it over after we finished the last one, um, the customer was nice and actually has a list of all the parts we're going to need to purchase for it. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring it in the shop. I'm going to close the hood first. Bring it in the shop. Put it up on the lift. And start by draining the oil out of it. Because I believe that they need one oil change too. Let's just double check, make sure. Yeah, change oil. Perfect. Alright. Up, up, and away. One more, there we go. Uh, well, this is going up, we'll walk way over here. And we are going to drain the oil. And I will bring this back. Now, does it need an oil filter too? Oh, of course it does. Alright, just give me a second here, folks. I'm going to write down the list here that we have. Just bear with me here for a moment, please, and thank you. Alright, sorry about that, I'm back now. I just had to make a little quick list of uh, some of the stuff we're going to need here. Alright, so let's hop over here to the computer. And we'll go over to the engine. Ah, uh, first off we'll go over to this. We'll get this done and out of the way. Alternator. Alright, where are we here? The ignition wires S O H C I four, and then we're also going to need an A. And, oh crap! About the wrong things. Relay A and relay B. Now this is going to be tricky here because, um, as you can tell, it's not unlike the other videos I've posted. It doesn't tell me what one is what, so it's literally a guessing game as to which one it is. So, and then we also need four spark plugs. 
and we need a starter. All right, so now we go jump back over to here, and we'll just scroll the list and check off the parts that we need. We need a belt tensioner. We also need a cam gear. This one, I4SOHC. I'll keep a cruise in. And we also need the clutch plate and the release bearing. I'll go back around right to where we were when we switched. We need the fuel pump and fuel filter. Fuel pump, fuel filter. <laughs> Went right past it. There's the fuel pump. There's the fuel filter. Got the ignition wires. Got the oil. Uh, the, no, we never haven't bought the oil filter yet. Wait, we need a. Yeah, let's buy two of these. You never know. We need this oil filter I4. Uh, we got the relays. Got the starter. We also need the radiator, radiator C, because it's pre, uh, I believe, 1990, 91. Some of the cars have radiator A in them. And what else do we need? We need serpent belt A and serp serpentine belt. So let's just look around, see what we can find. We need this belt right here, serpentine belt, I4SOHC. And we also need serpentine belt A, which is this one right here. And we need a timing belt and a water pump. Oh, too far. We need this belt. And we need the water pump I4. Which is, or hmm, oh, there it is, right there. And I believe that would be everything that we need. All right, time to get working on it. All right, first things first. Drain the oil, right? And it's just better off to double check. Just to double check. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we're gonna drop the oil filter. So this one looks like it could be used and needs to be replaced. Now, because we've got to do the clutch plate and the release bearing, gotta pull the drive shaft off. And we're gonna come over here to the starter. Yank that off since it's no good anyway. And we gotta take off the transmission. Now the way on how this is gonna be is you're gonna have the release bearing right here, then you're gonna have the pressure plate, and then you're gonna have the clutch plate in behind. If you look, you can see the rust in there. So we gotta take off the bearing, the pressure plate, which we don't need. And now we can get to the clutch plate. So what we'll do is we'll do the reverse of uh, removal. Well, time to install it all back. Look at that, it almost looks brand new, doesn't it? Put the transmission in. And then we'll put the drive shaft on. Ooh, jump me all the way back to the back end of the car. All eight bolts. And we'll work our way over this way. We'll put the starter on. Put the starter on. Perfect. We'll do the oil filter. And I believe now I can drop the car. Awesome. And we gotta go to our drain tool. 
Gotta drain the coolant out of the radiator. Now if it was radiator A, you would have normally a coolant tank, a reservoir. But because there is none, take it right out of the radiator. Alright, we can pull the radiator now. Okay, I guess we can't take the radiator. How come? Hmm. Let's try this one again, shall we? Sometimes it gets a little touchy. Now, we're going to go into here. Here's the belt A, serpentine belt A. We're going to take this off. Pulley, or idler, or, or idler pulley A. We're going to take the I4SOHC belt off. Here's the water pump. The alternator. With the stuck bolt. And because we've got to get internally into the motor, we've got to pull out the crank pulley, and we've got to pull out the time, the timing cover, and the belt tensioner, the timing belt, and yeah, since we're here, we might as well pull the, the plug wires. Ooh, these spark plugs definitely look like they've seen better days. Ain't that the truth? And I would believe that this would be all. So once again, we'll do the opposite of what we just did. Now we start installing the parts. Spark plugs first. Now the tricky part is, is it's going to require, it's going to take a little bit of time with the the relays and stuff. Because those I'm going to have to take, if there's more than one I'll take them individually and reinstall them. Just so we can get the right one. Put timing belt on, belt tensioner, timing cover. I'm going to put the crank pulley on. Okay, and then put the water pump, the new one, shiny new alternator, and then we'll put the belts on, serpentine belt I4SOHC, this is a real SOHC, this is a real single overhead cam, we'll put the idler A on, shiny new, and then we put serpentine belt A on. Okay, and we'll reinstall the radiator, a new one. Look at that. Looks pretty, doesn't it? And just going over my list here. We have all that. Done, 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 done. I do the fuel pump, fuel filter, and the relays. So before we do the relays, we're going to do the fuel pump and the fuel filter. But just because, like, oh, wrong part. So we'll put the fuel rail back in. And then we'll put the fuel filter. And we'll work our way to the back of the car, through the motor side. And we'll take out the fuel pump and put a new one in. Okay, what's left? Just the relays. I uh, know of, yep. Okay, now we come back under the engine and we go over here to the relay box, fuse box. Alright, there's only one A, so that works out good in our favor. So we can install that right now. But now there's four B's. 
and I have a feeling it's the one on the end. Yep. Something's telling me it is going to be this one. No, nope, that one's good too. Oh no, I'm zero for zero for four. Hey, we found it. Put the cover back on. What else we gotta do? Brake fluid, coolant, power steering fluid all need to be changed and we've got to refill the you guessed it, windshield washer fluid. We'll do this. Now we already drained that coolant out of it when we pulled the radiator and the water pump. So now we'll exit out of that. Over here, the master cylinder. Add some fluid. And then after here, we'll go add oil, power steering fluid, coolant, and we should wash your fluid. And then guess what? Another one bites the dust. Steering fluid. Perfect. Coolant. difficult but they do get more difficult as they go I can promise you that I'll top this off all right let's see what else we got left huh cars all done awesome well you know drill bring this back outside to garage entrance a Perfect, look at that. Um, send this back to the customer. Made a little bit of money off of that. We're at level 5 now. Excuse me. Now, I'm wondering. Alright, the junkyard is open, but we definitely ain't got no money for that. So, we got to upgrade our stuff here. So here we got four skill points. How it says in the bottom, available skill points for cost one. So these ones cost one point. These do two, so on and so forth, all the way up to six. Now you can't start doing body work until you get to this one, unfortunately. So what we shall do is we're going to do this one. And we're also going to do this one, and that's give us a little bit of a discount. Perfect, look at that. Awesome. And I do have crates. First off, we're going to clean out our inventory. Huh. I'm going to sell these, buy them again later. Now, let's check see what we've got in this crate. Alright, got another case. And we got a barn location map. Perfect. We'll the second one. Alright, another 172 credits. Dollars. And we'll go to this one. Barn location map. Of course. Now we'll go to three. We got the map like usual. We'll go to five. Got another case. Another case. 
and a bar location map. Ooh, 124 XP, nice. Ooh, 261 dollars. That's beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Last crate. 155 credits, and the bonus 56. Okay. Now before, we're gonna add these to our. Now where we find what we do with those is you can either go this way or you can go and click on the map and when the time comes you'll have a few of these you gotta be level 10 and only at level 5 before you can access it now for those blue things it'll open up this right here and what that does is it increases the value and the performance rating of the parts that you use and you use those blue things on they turn them into a three star but all right folks that include that concludes our video for today please like share and subscribe and we shall catch you on the next one